Ramon Lima is proud to be one of the permanent deacons with the most years of ministry in the entire diocese. The church reestablished this ancient vocation after Vatican II, calling men with families and careers to serve the church, preaching, baptizing, and teaching. The Diocese of Brooklyn ordained their very first permanent deacons in 1977, and Ramon Lima was one of them. I had a vocation many, for many years, so when the Aconet opened his door, I certainly answered the call. And nearly four decades later, he is still answering the call to serve. A Cuban native, his main focus has been helping the Hispanic community of Brooklyn and Queens. He has educated and encouraged dozens in their own vocations. The needs for the Hispanic community are so great and the, the ministry is so little. There were very few Hispanic deacons mm -hmm. and, and there was a great need among the population, the Catholic population of the United States. To minister. Among his many roles, Deacon Lima served as assistant to Auxiliary Bishop Octavio Cisneros for 13 years. He also has lent his skills to the diocesan newspaper, The Tablet, translating the weekly column from the leader of the diocese, Bishop Nicholas de Marzio, into Spanish. In recognition of all his contributions to the church, he will receive a papal honor called the Pro Ecclesia. I feel very unworthy, to be very honest with you, that I died. That but, but uh, I, I owe it a lot to, to Bishop Dimasio. He has uh, been incredibly uh, tremendous for the deacons. In addition to his many years of ministry, Deacon Lima is also celebrating many years of marriage. He and his wife, Digna, were wed in October, 66 years ago. What is the secret? your long marriage. <laughs> what is the secret? Everybody say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I, I, I think that what attracted me of her, not only her look, she was very beautiful, she still is, but oh, no. she was really beautiful. <laughs> you need to change uh, your glasses. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I always said that. The fact that she, she had mm, my religious beliefs, she was very, very similar. She was able to understand me oh, yeah. fully and that's how, that's how she really gave me my, my love. She was able to understand me fully. Digna couldn't be happier for her husband and says the honor is well deserved. They have done a lot of things that people don't even know in the church. A lot of good things, you know. When they call for him, he goes any place. And uh, I think he gives himself and the sample that he gives to everybody. That's a bit. The best thing. Deacon Lima will be honored November 1st. Alongside 48 others from the diocese, he will officially receive recognition for his nearly four decades of selfless service. Reporting for Currents from Little Neck, I'm Katie Breidenbaugh.